Japanese crate. Yay! <laughs> um, we're here again this month trying different snacks from our Japanese crate that Matt was so happy to share with us. Um, hopefully, unlike last month, more things will taste better. <laughs> oh, just because you don't have the refined we don't palate. Like, we did not the like young the stick. Okay, <laughs> the young stick. I like that young stick. It was the yummy. cow tongue. <clears throat> So, cow tongue is not. All right, best. let's get started. All right, so which one are you gonna do first? The chocolate uh, things. Burakusanda. Black Thunder. <laughs> I'm okay with this. Yeah. Um. <laughs> it says Black Thunder on there, actually. <clears throat> yes, it does. One of our all-time favorites, a chocolate bar with a name inspired by the Japanese god of thunder. It is filled with cookie pieces, yeah. rice puffs, and covered in dark chocolate. This is Japanese dark chocolate, though, so it would be different from this. Dark chocolate you have had. Oh, Kayla. Well, what's funny is the one who just put it in first had said before all of this that she didn't like dark chocolate. <laughs> I lied. I love this. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, that's very yummy. I want more. <laughs> I was telling you, Japanese chocolate. Y'all are kind of like, eh, all chocolate's better than American chocolate. Japanese chocolate wins. <laughs> yeah. Right? Japanese and Ukrainian chocolate. Those those two. I agree. Swiss. No, no, I think Ukrainian is better than Swiss. Hmm. But, I mean, that's me, so. <laughs> mm. German chocolate is good. Happy dance. Yeah, that's probably. a finger looking good one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you are now are going dice? to the Meiji Dice Caramel. Yeah, they're dice. And they're candy. Caramel. So we're all gonna have chewy. Sekoroka. Ah, sekoroka caramel. Yeah, no, they're actually yeah, they actually are shaped like ice. <laughs> this is a this is a classic one. Um, these little guys have been around since 1910. The package is made to look like five different dice, each with a caramel hidden inside. Oh, there's two of them in there. I'm okay with this. They're so cute. They are. <laughs> ha! It rolls better when I take one out. <laughs> uh, Cheater! Yes, dear. That's that's called loading the dice. And that's or unloading the dice. <laughs> what We're just not waiting for each other anymore. Yeah, it's just, yeah, they're all like, let's go. Mm, it's a tootsie roll. It's a caramel tootsie roll. Yeah, it's um, thicker than the caramel that you might be used to, but the it other- It doesn't stick to your teeth as much. Yeah, actually I was about to say that one of the other things is that they, even in the in the modern era, they don't have as many fake ingredients as we do in America, so that makes a consistency difference. I like I like the consistency difference. It's yes. softer. It's very good. It's softer and it doesn't stick to my teeth, mm -hmm. which is one of my ma major things that I hate about caramel here. So, are you going to go to the drink time. next? We will cleanse our palates with a juicy drink. At least I'm hoping it's juice. Um, actually, on the front, can you find uh, Dingo or Grapefruit? Uh, what are the flavors? Which flavor do you have? Picky yellow. <laughs> Lemon. Lemonade, yay! That They don't have on here that there's a lemon one. What about it? Yeah. Uh, so that might be the exercise flavor. I don't know. Anyway, channel skip. Water. <laughs> okay, uh, and they say you've got exercise grape or apple. And um, I'm gonna this go is a soft drink, and it says lemon on here. Yeah. Well then, I was right. Okay. All right, Jax, pass it down. <clears throat> Take one down. Pass it around. One more juice pouch left on the wall. It's watered down lemonade. Yeah. Well, I mean, the main title is lemon, um, because it's not. Remember, the Japanese just like aren't it. big on really sweet things. But I like it a lot. It's also meant to be like a replacement for a no. bottle. No, no, no. According to the Tofugo article I read, mm -hmm. this would be completely illegal to have in school. Yes. Why is that? It's just juice. But it's got sugar in it. So sugar is not allowed in school. Yeah, they're pretty strict on added sugar uh, in the meals. Which is so not consistent to manga when it's like, I'll go buy you a juice at the well, vending machine down the hall. But the vending machine's not in the cafeteria, and you can't drink it in the cafeteria, generally. Uh, okay. Depends on how strict your school is. 
Interesting. Okay, the pocky yes. looking stuff. The pocky looking stuff. Uh, <laughs> it looks like pocky. So it, it looks like it's pissed. <laughs> <laughs> it does look very angry. <laughs> Purple sweet potato sticks. Oh, potato sticks. I'm very fond of potato sticks. Purple too. sweet potato, I should say. Purple sweet potato. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. No, no, it's it's no. Just lost my love at sweet potato. Um, here's a flavor that's just as seasonal as pumpkin pie, but a little less common. Purple sweet potatoes are a fall winter treat in Japan. Light, crispy potato sticks uh, taste perfectly like a sweet potato. I'll be the judge Sweet potatoes are really like a classic snack in Japan. Go for it. Just like a sweet potato. Yeah. <laughs> See, the, the skin is purple on a Japanese sweet potato, so, yeah. But they, they have vendors who literally go around who are just selling steamed sweet potatoes. And, uh, I'll say I like that more than these. I really like these. <laughs> they taste like Pocky sticks to me. Like I said, they look they look like Pocky. They do look like Pocky, but it doesn't taste They're like just a sweet purple. potato to me. Oh, there's a lot of things shaped like Pocky. Uh, just Pocky started a trend um, that has sort of grown I'll over time. Of that and we didn't say this at the beginning, but uh, just for edification, so that you can hear me, camera. We're taking how many from each crate was it? Um, three. Three from the mini crate, yeah, because you did all three of those. Um, two. two from the premium and one from original. Yeah. Okay. So which one? I can't see from here. Is that the the great thing? Well, there's two great things. Okay, Q. Yeah, okay. Uh, super string Q. 50 inches of grape gummy in one long string. Cool. Okay. Where is the arrow? There might be a little arrow knocked out of the back of the package. He's smarter than the packaging, Kayla. I was trying. No, there's usually a... Okay. There wasn't an arrow. I looked. No, rather than an arrow, there's, usually, there's sometimes a, a notch on the back. <laughs> we should all just hold it and bite in. Let's do it. Bite it in me. Uh, you might have different flavors. Okay, go for it. Watch <laughs> yummy. What's the green one taste like? Two oh, flavors. Sweet. Two flavors alternate between sweet and sweet and sour. I think the pink's the sweet one. Yeah, probably. Green's usually the. Green's the sour. Green's yeah. the sour. Save me some. I'll give you a bite of green. Um, <laughs> you okay? I just swallowed like an entire string at once. Mm -hmm. It's called Q grape and uh, muscato muscat something. Muscat something. Yeah. Well, you know, but you don't give me time to okay. write out the kanji. I can't help you with that. <laughs> okay, that is the bubble gum, yeah? Yeah. It says gum. Okay, so. Duranaiko bubblegum. Um, these have fortunes written on them. And when you go to a temple in Japan, they give you, you can go to a, a fortune teller station and, and uh, you get this just great big cylindrical thing and uh, you shake it and then you upend it and one stick falls out and the stick has a number on it and you take it to the guy up front and they pull out the fortune that matches that number for the day. And uh, so these are a way of getting your fortune. And they, they have daily fortunes, monthly fortunes, and yearly fortunes. So I, I don't remember my katakana. Otherwise, I'd be able to read some of this. <laughs> I think actually what you've got right there is a, yeah, that, that you're supposed to toss it and roll it. And the different sides have different fortunes, daily fortunes, like weather things. Interesting. And then the gum themselves have, uh, there should be a little, yeah. Oh, I I, there's like a hole. Yeah. Yeah. But at you, the same, punch, you punch the hole in. I've, my finger. Well, is if not... you punch the hole in, in, then you won't get the fortune out. Someone else do this. <laughs> Sensei, help! <laughs> <laughs> you can read Japanese. I can't. I can read German. Well, it's just you can. I tried to do it. Yeah. No, no, it's, well, 
I'm just, I am going to tear it, but you're going to have to shake it out because I think there's only four sticks in there anyway. Okay. Shake it out, shake it out. What happened is you tore it sideways. I did? Yeah. Oops. There's one of the corners comes out, but. Oh, dear Lord. How about this? You can stay up there. Yes. <laughs> I win. Okay, so. I have number three. You know what? The blog does not have them numbered. She. <laughs> she tells. Good lord. <laughs> Middle bless. But yeah. That works. Okay. Ah, that was notoriously easy. This next <laughs> After some of them came out. Okay, so you got Middle Fortune number three. I would say just remember which ones that you got and then you can look them up. So you don't even have. <laughs> Did you not get a number? <laughs> no, she has a number. Is your fortune that funny? <clears throat> no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't trust you. <laughs> yeah, yours doesn't actually have a tool up. Oh, yeah. Um, something blessing. You can take a picture of them. Before. Yeah, probably better to take a picture of them just okay. so that you can come up. This, though, read that aloud. Waka Rimasen. Yes! Waka Rimasen. Yes. <laughs> Isn't that I don't understand? Nope. <laughs> <Yep. laughs> That's why I laughed. Gen kyoku. Te o ibu waka rimasen. Something, something I don't understand. <laughs> don't raise your hand when you don't understand things. <laughs> That's beautiful. <clears throat> I shall eat a small portion of it that doesn't have the Japanese on it. Well, but you took a picture. Yeah. I'm leaving the car. It's gum. Sense. It's gum, though. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Oh, yeah. It, it's good. It's just very good. Is it a mix of these fruits or is it just a fruit? <laughs> Yeah, sometimes they just kind of have a fruit flavor. They're just fruity. Mm. I'm saving the rest of it for after I eat my subway. <laughs> it's probably wise. I don't understand. Oh, <laughs> I should. <laughs> You're enjoying yourself too much. Yes, I am. I always enjoy myself on these things. Okay, since I've had my fingers on this one, I like this one. Would you like some gum, Sensei? Mm -hmm. We still have two more. You do? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we. Good. Watch me get the bad one. Okay, <laughs> drum roll. What is it? What is it? Please, Gara. Gara? Kakashi Sensei. <laughs> That's why I was laughing. I would have fought over that one. <laughs> For those of you Gara. who don't know, they they chose in advance which one they wanted. So. Matt got yeah. Kakashi. Alrighty. Kakashi, not Kek. <laughs> and this is how we know we have good relationship with Sensei. <laughs> Did you see the thing she's, I tagged her on one. last night? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, thanks, by the way. I say early March. Late February, early March. Um, oh! <laughs> I should have been focusing on her. Oh! <laughs> you don't like it? See, I don't like sweet potatoes. I'm gonna head down and then get. Oh God! I don't think it's recording. Oh, it is recording. Oh, oh God! Oh God! Oh God. <laughs>